Hi and welcome to another gaming video and today's video is going to be a bit of a quick one and I want to talk about sealed games. Now when you buy a game it's generally sealed, got a little sort of cellophane stuff around it. Why do people buy them and then keep them? Why do they keep them sealed? I'm guessing it's more of a, from a collector's point of view but I do know a lot of people that will buy a game physically, keep it, then download it or rebuy it on an eShop or an e-store and play it that way therefore you're buying it sort of twice and I do know people that will go out and buy two copies of a game just so they can keep one sealed don't understand that that's sort of twice the expense I play games I buy games that I want to play and that's the reason I buy them so I don't care if they're sealed or not uh, most of my games are used so they don't come sealed but if I was to go out and buy a new game I'd unwrap it I'd open it because I don't want to buy a game and then it sits on a shelf I don't play it and I don't want to buy a game physically and then either buy it again physically or buy it on an eShop so I can play it. No, I don't understand it. I know sealed games can hold their price, some of them, I mean some of them can go for an absolute fortune, but that is just a select few and you've got to wait sort of 20 years for it to absolutely skyrocket in value and then it's got to be a rare one and it's got to be one that people want and no one is going to want a sealed copy of Brain Training on the DS. Uh, so it really puzzles me. Yeah, I suppose there are collectors, but does it matter if it's sealed? If you're a collector, are you going to sell it on anyway, or are you just building your collection? Like I said, I buy games, either opened, or if they're sealed, I open them and I play them. Let me know what you think. Do you buy sealed games? Are you one of these crazy collectors that either buys it twice, or just buys it and keeps it sealed and never plays it? Link, like, subscribe, enjoy.